All right, 914 right now. Commercials, pizza, halftime show, and for sale signs? Uh huh. Super Bowl Sunday is more than just a day for football and fun. It is also, somehow, unofficially, <laughs> it's kicking off the spring real estate market here in the Twin Cities. And local real estate professional Amy Jurek with Remax Advantage Plus is here with the details. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I guess the first thing we got to do is what? What is, what yeah, is this why? Super Bowl house? What? It is when we kick off our season. It's interesting. I think a lot of homeowners have the intention or the New Year's resolution to put their home on the market, mm -hmm. right? But then you put the holiday stuff away, you get back to work, and it takes a little bit of time to get those pre-marketing things done on your home. And then, you know, you're quickly into February getting your home on the market. So that's when we see more listings come on the market, more buyers coming out to look at those properties. We've talked a lot about this. I'm in this process. Mm -hmm. I am one yeah. of those people looking for a house. Yeah. Uh, it, it definitely has been slow over the last couple of weeks. Yes. There's not a lot of things popping. So that's good news for me that things mm -hmm. will start going. What should buyers and also sellers be aware of this time of year? Um, well, buyers need to be ready. You need to be prepared that once we do get into our frenzy, and we're only 30 days away from that, to be prepared that it's going to be incredibly competitive. Mm -hmm. um, our statistics here in the, in the winter have shown that there's been less sellers getting on the market and about 18% increase of buyers getting on the market. So it's going to be really competitive this spring, even more so than last year. Oh, that's good. See, not good for you. Yeah, don't be scary. As up. I want not to sell a me. house. <laughs> Maybe. Good yeah. for you. See, good for me. Yeah. You could just give but I'm me not your house. Say, Sellers are kind of back in the driver's house? seat. You so. buy my house. I wouldn't sell you my house. Even I wouldn't buy my house. Uh, <laughs> Don't say that to right. <laughs> What should buyers do now to get ready for, if, if you want to get a, a part of this whole yep. boom in February and March? Yep. Get pre-approved now. There's yeah. a lot of changes in the lending industry just this fall, um, which is adding more timelines to the process. So you need to shop your lender prior to the purchase agreement versus after so that you can hit the deadline of your close date. So that's for buyers. If I'm, if I'm like Keith, been thinking about putting a house on the market, what is a seller yeah. supposed to do right now? Declutter. I think everyone hears that right away. You need to declutter. Oh, also, fixing up and kind of freshening up your house. Mm -hmm. um, going through maybe, you know, freshening up paints, cleaning carpets, updating lighting, simple things like that. A home inspection, getting that done before you list your home is a really nice idea because you can get those work orders done in advance of a buyer coming in and say, hey, fix this, oh. fix that. And also, there's a heightened awareness of radon. You might even want to test your home for radon so that you don't have that come to you after a purchase agreement because it's an expensive repair. I will, I will say, in the process of looking at homes, mm -hmm. when it has been, you know, flagged that they've already done that, I was more intrigued by that house. So yeah. that's interesting that you brought that up. Yeah, it's an expensive piece. Usually it's about $1,500 work order. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have that already finished. Yeah, that's the last thing you need is extra things yes. hanging over your head on either side. Yeah. All right, how can buyers and sellers both take advantage of this whole big game phenomenon then in the February? Well, I think sellers are in a good position. It's We're mm -hmm. more back into a seller's market now that we're out of the recession for almost four to five years. Mm -hmm. Buyers, uh, just brace yourself. Be ready to pounce. Know where you want to buy. Start looking online. Drive by and through neighborhoods. Rule things in or out now before those listings come on the market because you're going to need to react quickly. I was going to say, that puts buyers in a bad, well, not as great light. Right. You don't have the time <laughs> no. Uh, no. to reflect. It's <clears> like, <throat> oh, you know, you're, there's, they're sleeping on it and there's, you know, I'll take the weekend to think about it. I had friends uh, mm -hmm. who just bought a house. Yeah three weeks ago, well, it must have been right before Christmas, yeah. and they were the first to look at it, yep. and by less than 36 hours later, mm -hmm. there were five offers on that yep. house. It's yeah. crazy. They, they Already. It, but, I know. Yeah. It's, it, you don't have time to, to sleep on it anymore, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So that's why I need to do so much work online before you go into the marketplace, so that if you see something that's hot, good condition, priced right, you can make that offer and hopefully beat others. How does our market compare to some other cities that are comparable? Um, how, do, how do we look? housing market are we are we better than than others in the midwest or are we where do we sit well we we're pretty comparable with um like median price points um in illinois mm -hmm. and they're in uh, midwest they're they're close to us they're probably the closest we are probably by far the most dollar per square foot of the midwest okay and that's because we have so many great employment opportunities here people come here to work mm -hmm. and our unemployment rate is low um so we we probably the closest would, would be chicagoland area hmm. mm -hmm. amy Thank you yeah. so much. Good luck good to you. Good luck to you. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. You can just give me your house and we could call you. We could. I've got a basement. You guys could live in my basement. Well, she's already in a basement, oh. so we're trying oh. to work our way out of it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Helping us out. Thank you, Amy. Thank you Amy, so much. Thank you. Good luck.